I'll be playing Dying Light 2 today, and um, I just, I remember my playthrough on my PlayStation that after a while, I found out you could get a crossbow, um, and I did end up getting a crossbow in the game, and that fucking crossbow is OP, man, it's legit. You can take down volatiles with these, everything. Civilization Just, is like, a vulnerable thing. Crazy. Easy. A we already watched that opening scene before, so yeah, we're not gonna. Let me get my dual sense controller. Just dope. I have like four of these. <laughs> this this is my favorite one. It's I collect Spider-Man stuff. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I do. Um, and that's not actually the controller. It's just the skin I got for it. Which is pretty cool, but the edges of it are starting to peel. So I, I think it's almost time to get a new skin for this and replace it. Um, but anyway, whatever. Um, so yeah. So I want to get the crossbow. But to get it... You have to, um, there's, uh, there's two different factions, the peacekeepers and the survivors, and you have to, you unlock, uh, um, like a, a, a weapon, uh, a power substation or a water tower. You activate it, and then you hand over control of that thing to either the peacekeepers or the survivors. And it's not coming up on the map yet. But each one of these, each one of them has, is that it? Yeah, horseshoe water tower. A, yeah, a facility. That's what it is. So, you unlock a facility, and then you give power of that facility to either the peacekeepers or the survivors. And every time you do, you get something. But I can't even show you, because I haven't even gotten far enough in the story, to begin those kinds of missions. I'm still at the beginning of this shit. So, okay, <sighs> fucking night time, fucking flashlight, alright, where do I gotta go? Oh, shit. 
fucking lock out of the head. See ya. Are you gonna come down after me? Come get me, bro! Here he comes. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I don't fucking like this at all. So yeah, to get to get the crossbow, you have to unlock these four facilities. Why is that zombie awake? Definitely saw me. Shrooms, man. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the BK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. I am ill-prepared for this. I need some UV shrooms. I need some... I need some shrooms, man.
Code. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. <sighs> oh, 
stuff. Oh, oh shit! I just want to, like, get through the beginning part of this and, ouch, stop being able to uh, unlock those uh, facilities, man. Come on. Really? Thank you. Inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Oh shit, this is where I get captured, isn't it? What are you doing here? Ouch. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing? And you manage to forget about the ban on passage. Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? Not really. What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth. And you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead. And now I'm in command. 
You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. Looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. All right, let's make a deal, homie. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there were that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for ten years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us. Even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Villador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you... You're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look. We are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? Of course I will. Oh. My controller died. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. 
First it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. With distilled arts? Serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results, and they say she is a witch. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch, really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. Ah, oh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed. And only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Hey, Hack on. Are you there? Hey then, buddy. Good you're alive, Gordon. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us, otherwise there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We will help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas' death. Hey. What's up? So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Eto doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debts right now. If anyone in Philidor is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? 
Hubert Kerbatsos, also known as Hafas Hubi. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers, probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubi. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. I guess I'm not getting up that building so easily. You're done. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, me. Ah, you killed me. Ah, oh, man, put me all the way back to the top Killed 
line and from the bazaar. Who else would want him dead? Fuck no. Lucas was a real hard one. Didn't take shit from anyone. Guy like that. So dark. Why would they put the safe room? The blind hell me. Can you believe it? At least tell me you've been to the doctor. I'm looking for, I don't know what they call, uh, it's like little rooftop terrace things with those golden trees. And you find honey, chamomile, sometimes weapon, UV shrooms, and other stuff. Um, I'm most in interested in the, the honey, the chamomile, and the UV shrooms. Well, the weapon too. But there's one way over there, there's one there it looks like, there's one there, so. Let's go see if we can stock up. Ooh. That was a pretty good jump. That was pretty good. Sometimes there's dudes over here you gotta fight. The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah. What else? Oh, something stinks. 
Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. I cook and it's... I'm sorry. Mary said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Nairo wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal. Sounds absurd. Okay, where was I going? You're new here, aren't you? Yep. You'll see. This place is full of secrets. Most of them you don't want to uncover. No. Civilization is a realm of circumstance. Always do it. Remember, Belgrim. You're not what happened to you. You're what you choose to become. Okay. Let me do that guy. Alright, where is that? Right there. Right this way. Okay, I'll jump. Can I take any of this other stuff? Did I already come here? I'll check out the hours on the wall over there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna call it. Thank you guys for watching. But I have to get up super early. But I'll probably be back on tomorrow night. So, 